What's up guys welcome back to the channel we'll go back to another video and in today's video um, It's some pretty exciting stuff. We're finally getting the M4 paint and hopefully getting the M4 registered in today's video um, And probably we're we'll working on a little bit on the 7 series. We'll have to see but as of right now I'm going to pick up my fiance um, She's gonna help me drive the i8 down to the paint shop and the M4 so we can get them uh, get the M4 down there Drop it off and drive back but before we actually get into today's video I want to give you guys a huge huge special shout out to everyone that's caught the merch the next few seconds is dedicated to you guys Thank y'all so much and thank y'all for the constant support. I honestly wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. Right now, we're gonna be trying to we're gonna be trying to drop off the M4 at the paint shop and then hopefully um, going down to North Highlands and um, probably try to register the M4. Our goal is to at least get a temporary moving permit to where we can drive it to LA. And uh, we'll have to wait for the inspection because there's also maybe a CHP inspection. So if we have one of those, it's gonna be pushed about two months. So at least if you have some kind of you know temporary moving permit, that would be great. Um, so that's gonna be our goal for today. So I'll catch you guys once I pick up my fiance. We are back at the house with two of our cars mobbing out to the paint shop. <laughs> guys, my girl is driving right behind me in the IA. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking so I, I want to say bad and then you know something else, but you just can't say that language on YouTube But anyhow, um, <laughs> this is super 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 cool. So anyhow, we are taking the M4 down there right now. I don't know what's cool driving the M4 my girls behind me. That's awesome. Anyhow, we're <laughs> taking the M4 down for to the paint shop um, So yeah, I guess we'll see you guys there the car is in low temp mode because we just started up very cold start So I'm not gonna do any pulls until this thing gets warmer So I'll catch you guys when it does probably sometime on the highway guys <laughs> this car is so fast so yeah we finally got the temp somewhat decent let's hopefully see a red light as soon as you pull off i'll show you guys a little zero to 60 real quick but uh yeah this thing's an absolute beast again there's still this weird sound coming from this side of the car it sounds like the wheel is hitting something we're gonna have to figure that out hopefully soon but uh as for today our main mission is to get this thing painted so it'll pass vin verification they won't question anything that we've done so uh yeah i'm just oh my god my girl's driving behind me this is like goals this is just such goals i'm just oh man i love this girl God, <laughs> my girl drives so good. <laughs> it's every car guy's is like dream to drive with this girl. My girl, oh my gosh, she knows how to drive. All right, guys, I'm gonna speak to Antonio. My girl's pulling up right here, about to head out, but I'm just gonna speak with Antonio real quick, tell him exactly what we want with the front end. We wanna make sure the bumper is fully prepared and the hood's also painted. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna to speak to him real quick and uh, I'll let you guys know the plan. <laughs> the M4 is looking so good. So yeah, like, let me show you guys the front end real quick and just show you guys my concerns. So so this right here, let me go ahead and remove. I have a little spacer right here and it's making the bumper look great, but obviously I don't want any spacers. I want this to be filled in and I want this to be sanded down and pretty much um, mesh with the rest of the thing. I want this fixed and repaired and painted over. Um, so we have a lot of things we need to do to make this bumper perfect and then obviously the hood to be paint matched. Couple days later, the M4 is officially done. Let's go ahead and go pick it up. I'm super stoked for it. I mean, from the pictures he sent me, he did exactly the way I wanted it. I'm just hoping in terms of gaps, everything's looking good. So uh, I mean, if the gaps are good and the paint's good, your man's gonna be one happy man. We're gonna have to get the front end clear broad because we don't want that paint chipping when we head down to LA to get that crank hub done. So, so far we're on schedule with the M4, which is great. That is the main car. I'm trying to make sure we get everything done in time because we have an appointment at the end of this month that if we don't make it, that's gonna suck. Anyway, let's go pick up the M4. I'm super stoked. Jaquire. Let's just head home real quick. I'll let you guys know what's going on. I know it's just a little, I don't know, I don't, don't worry about it. I mean, you might Chipotle, guys, and uh, I'll let you all know what happened and how it got the M4 and what's going on because we have a few problems, actually, as you all can tell. And, guys, we are officially back home. I got my Chipotle feeling energized. 
and kind of sleepy. It's what happens when you eat. But anywho, the M4 is here, and I'll let you guys know the bad news and why I have to take this car back to the paint shop in about two days, and unfortunately, we cannot go forward with the project because we need that stuff repainted. I'll show you guys why. But in the meantime, it does look great. You guys have been asking for a little bit of the car and less of my face and more of the car, so let me go ahead and throw you guys a final cinematic, not a final, but finally a cinematic of this car all as one color. can see this front end has seriously come such a long way compared to this picture right here which is how we got it the only thing it's mainly missing right now is uh pretty much the bmw emblem we went ahead and ordered an oem one mainly because at, uh, the 7 series you know we can go with an ebay one but for this m4 we're gonna have to go with an oem like let's be real here i got the car back and the first thing he told me was as soon as i started looking at it, i was like wow this is absolutely gorgeous he says we have a one problem and i was like what is that i mean what could possibly be wrong the fitment is amazing i'm super 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 happy with this the paint looks amazing the blending looks amazing literally like such a great job any multi clear coated the entire work so everything here should last a very long time. And then he told me we have one problem and I was like, what is that exactly? The camera that went right here fell out. And uh, when he told me this, I was kind of like, oh my God, I was, I, I was like in my head, I was like, okay, that sucks. It's not the end of the world though. Um, that can get reordered and we can do that whenever. It's not gonna hold us back in our future projects because you guys know I have a strict time frame to get this thing on the road as soon as possible because in the end of this month, we need to take this car to SSR Performance. But then also I was looking at it, I was like, okay, he deleted these things, the washer things, which is great. I really didn't want these washer things because this car doesn't come equipped with that. So I kind of wanted that clean look. But then I also noticed that this also looks really clean. <laughs> and I was like, wait, hold up. Where is the sensor that goes here? The sensor that goes over there? The sensor that goes right here and he told me didn't you say you want me to like paint over it? and i was like no 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 like paint the sensors not actually get rid of it so you basically bonded over it and got rid of it and uh yeah that that is a no no bueno right there that we need to actually get fixed so unfortunately he's gonna have to go ahead and sand down the entire bumper take out the sensors sand down the sensors paint the sensors put it all back in repaint the entire front bumper uh, so that kind of sucks. So we're gonna have to take this in back on Monday. But as for this, again, this is paint match. That's looking great. This scent, this camera is there just fine. I mean, the car is absolutely stunning, guys. I've been driving it. The alignment is perfectly straight from the accident. Like everything has been really, really, really good. Like just such a joy to drive looks like this key also needs a battery replacement that's fine i kept coolant back here um just worried that you know i might get another coolant light but so far so good i didn't get any things that i'm actually should be worried about so i'm pretty pretty happy about this fuel economy is not the greatest but it's not the things you look at when you drive an m4 but yeah guys god bless we're gonna go ahead and do a full detail with this once it gets back from the paint shop again i was gonna do it today uh, but i mean every time it goes to the paint shop by the time i get it it is super filthy in here because you guys know that they had to get in the car move the car and you guys can see all down here, it just gets dirty. Looks like some other guy sat over there, gets dirty over there. It is what it is. So I'm gonna wait, go ahead and wait for it to get back and then we'll go ahead and clean wash the entire interior, wash the exterior, give the tires some love, detail the wheels. These aren't scratches guys, these are just dirt, so don't worry about all that stuff. I'm also thinking about selling these wheels and literally getting identical ones, just a different color with some meteor tie. So let me know if any of you guys are interested in these wheels. They are variant wheels, they're alloys. There's literally no spaces in the car and it fits really good in the rear and very good in the front. It obviously needs a little bit of spaces on this car because it was meant to fit my 435. So if any of you guys want some really perfectly fitting 435 wheels, 428 wheels, I don't know about the, the, F, the F30s, but the F32 2s or even F80s, F82s, hit me up for these wheels. I'm thinking about letting them go for as little as 1400, which is almost the, like only the price of two or three wheels on top of brand new tires. And these are Falcon tires, not no China ones. These are pretty good tires. So if you guys want these, hit me up on Instagram. I'm trying to get a new set from Variant Wheels. I might even go with some HREs this time or some Apexes. We're trying to see mainly because Apexes are very lightweight, great for their track. HREs are my dream wheels and Variant Wheels, I love them. I love them to death, love working with them. So I'm, I'm torn between the three, but we'll have to see. 
Anywho, there is two things I want to get done, which is the AC. I really want the car to have AC. And the second thing is installing the weather guards on that side. So the side that has all the wires dangling and stuff like that, we're going to go ahead and install some weather guards. Um, we have the back and the front in the backyard. So let's go ahead and just turn the car around and jack it up and hopefully get those two things installed looking beautiful. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin I am such an idiot. I just jacked the wrong side. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jack up the other side. to get these bad boys in stock. <laughs> all right guys this was the side that was involved in the accident and uh, everything is put back together other than that camera that you know it was there it was there i mean it's not my fault but but things happen in life you know and it's all right it's all right everything is gravy in the navy at least for the most part everything is put back together and the cars look is so good obviously it's gonna need an engine detail like the 740 but before we actually do that, we're probably gonna end up doing all the maintenance as well. So to fill up the AC, you literally have to go, I think I could see it actually. Well, no, it's actually right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can actually fill up the AC right down there, huh? Is there a way to get down there without having to remove everything? Let me try, guys. I can actually see the AC. I don't know if you guys can see it right there where my finger is. This is the AC low line. If I could figure out a way to get my hand in there without having to remove everything, we might have to do that. <laughs> Hi <laughs> guys, I don't have to remove anything. All I have to do is move this thing out of the way so I can put my hand in there and I got to it. Everyone on the forums literally said this is about a 45 minute job. Well, I'm proving y'all wrong. This took about five minutes. <laughs> All right, if you guys have never done this before, let me show you guys real quick. Step number one, open the door. Step number two, start up the car. Woo, buddy, this thing sounds good, dude. Step number four, guys, turn up the AC all the way up on both sides. Full blast. Ah, it's, it's literally straight heat, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm happy to say we have AC. It is blowing cold. I have a feeling those cans, for some reason, cannot push up to a certain PSI. So when you get the smaller cans, you can't push up to 30 and 40 PSI. So I literally emptied out both cans and it stayed at 30. Then I left the can sitting um, thinking that I, the car might be leaking and it stayed at 30 PSI the entire time. So it looks like the cans are unable to push over, uh, I think, 25 PSI because I guess, I guess, I'm not really too sure. I'm not, I'm not good at physics. I'm not good at chemistry or any of this stuff, but maybe it needs a bigger can. Who knows, who knows? Anywho, um, it is blowing super, super, super cold, colder than any of my other cars right now. So I'm perfectly content with it. I'm perfectly happy with it. We loaded up two 12 ounce cans two 12 ounce cans into the car. So I think that's more than enough 
If I feel like it's starting to fade away, the, 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 the coldness, then again, we'll get a bigger can and try it one more time. Uh, but I'm not hearing anything. Like if we sit right here, I'm not hearing any leaks. Normally you can hear an AC leak if, if you have one. So everything looks like so far so good. Let's head down to Walmart, return those two cans because those two cans have a $10 core on each one. So let's go ahead and return that and then go fill her up and just take her out for a little joy ride. It's, guys, we've completed this M4 build. Not completed, but like we've restored it and it looks absolutely amazing. I love the fresh new paint job. Basically, he basically painted the whole front clip because he blended it into the fender. So all the scratches around the fenders as well have all been fixed. Heavy coats of clear coat and we're also clear brawing the whole front end hopefully next week before our trip to LA because we don't want to ruin this beautiful front end. This emblem, I went ahead like I told you guys, I got a new one. It's coming in the mail. OEM BMW. Um, you guys already know that we have to treat this baby perfect. Let me go ahead and just get washed up, just take a shower, and then I'll head out and let's go Let's go down to Walmart and then get some gas. Alright guys, the car is throwing a few more errors it looks like. All minor stuff though. Let's go ahead and see because I heard three chipping sounds. Okay, so we got TPMS, fuel range, and uh, okay, so key battery. Let's go ahead and just replace that key battery just so we don't run down and just fuel. We'll fill up the car, bada bing, bada bang, and then we just left it the TPMS, which is how it's supposed to be because we'll figure out the TPMS sensor thing once we actually get TPMSs in these wheels. So yeah, in about three seconds, this air should go away. So three, two, one. And just like that, guys, <laughs> we're down to two airs. Let's go ahead and get some gas to fix that last one, too. We're also heading down to Walmart so I can return those two air cans. Um, at the same time, just enjoy this baby. So, uh, DCT 360 camera, boys. Well, technically, it's about a 270, but I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Look at that technology, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, this AC is freezing cold. God bless. Okay, these cans actually work really, really, really well. Do we have windshield washer fluids? Oh, yes, we do. Bada bing, bada bang, boys. Look at this. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's head down to Walmart, but uh, I need to get a GoPro on so you guys can actually see probably when I'm starting to do some pulls or some drifting. I mean, you guys know that I promise you guys this is going to be going to the tracks. Well, I promise you guys. The tracks aren't cheap, guys. Like, if you guys don't know, it's 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 typically like $400 for a track day. So, uh, that's excluding the fact that you got to get uh, racing brakes, racing uh, fluids, a helmet, all that stuff for a beginner. So, probably your first time going is going to be at least like a $1,500 trip. Uh, but then every time after that, it should be a lot cheaper. So, actually, probably a $2,000 trip. Anywho, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge and enjoy this car when that time comes. Right now, the goals are to modify this thing performance-wise and looks-wise. So we are reaching out to Keys Motorsports and Burger Tuning and hopefully getting those things done as soon as possible. Guys, look how straight this steering is. Oh my God, God bless. But look at the technology. This thing has every option. I freaking love this car, man. <laughs> Alrighty, we are back in the car. Let's head over to Costco, get some gas, and just fill up the tank because um, this is now <laughs> our daily driver, boys. The, the i8 was an amazing daily driver. Great and amazing in fuel economy. This car, uh, not so much in terms of fuel economy, but this is just more of a daily. The i8 is a very nice car, but parking that thing everywhere it's not really the most convenient thing. You always have to worry about if someone's gonna hit the car or something or damage the car. That car, like to me, it's just it's it's one of those things where it, it kind of gives me kind of a headache driving every single day just because I'm always so worried about it. Not saying the M4, I'm not so worried about it, but I'm not as worried as I would be with the i8. So this is a better daily driver. Plus, it's just such a nice car. I love this car. It's every option to make life just convenient. But anyway, enough talking. There's a beautiful E46 M3 just pulling up right in front of us. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. My windshield is dirty, but uh, Nardo Gray, I think it's my brother's friend, E46 M3. Thing is loud. Can't wait to get an exhaust on this bad boy. All right, guys, so here's the fuel tank, nearly empty. Three, two, one. <laughs> wait, this is the first fill up. I gotta show you guys. So this is the first fill up with the M4 since we got it. Believe it or not, we were running on the fuel that it came from the auction. Sheesh, we are full boys, full tank of gas. Nothing's more satisfying than that. I don't know if I should coat out this TPMS because we're gonna be putting on a lot of different sets of wheels on here. So I feel like just having TPMS is just kind of a drag. I might have that coated out. Let me know, should I actually put TPMS in these wheels or should we coat them out? But uh, 
Sheesh, oh my God, this thing is torquey. I love this car. I need to have somebody else drive with me and get their reactions because guys, this car, for some reason, like in the lower RPMs, you don't really feel like it's an M4. And then as soon as you get up to the higher RPMs, this thing's an absolute monster. Like, like it, I've never driven a car as fast and as torquey as this in the higher RPM. Dang, Pyology is packed. I don't know if you guys ever tried Pyology, but it's basically like Subway, but pizza style. Any hoozles, I need to find something for myself to eat, to be honest, because Chipotle was good and all, but that was like definitely a four hours ago thing. Where your man's hungry. Me the loo. Love me too. Let me live the same life. All right, better not get that copyright. All right, guys, we're officially home, and the M4 is just such a beautiful car, and I love this car to death. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's come this far. Guys, it's literally a sitting beauty. I love this car. And I, and to be honest, guys, the price we built this car for is unbelievable. When I tell you guys the price, you're gonna be like, how? I have a full price breakdown so you guys can definitely believe me when I say it. But uh, I think this is probably one of the cheapest M4s out there today with the low mileage, full option. Oh my God, I love this car so much, guys. So much content to come. We already got the GTS hood. We have so much more mods playing out for the car. But without further ado, guys, cop some merch to support your boy. The face mask, I'm pretty sure it will either have been sold out by now or if, if not, probably left, less than five left. So if we have any face masks, make sure to cop them. That's gonna be literally, once they're sold out, it's gone. And as for the plates, I believe we still have about 20 or 30 left of those but again once those are sold out those are gone as well so if you guys want to cop them comment down below you'll be shouting in the next video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out